Okay, now that we're back from vacation, we're gonna do some modifying for two of the dragons. Uh, because they keep jumping into each other's tubs, even when I use a barrier, they climb over it. We're gonna put them in the one big tub. Now this large tub here, we have to modify by cutting off the front of it and a corner, and I'll go over that in a minute. Um, make it fit. Remember, this whole, content, this whole area is modular to fit different animals. Now, I've been having a problem keeping one tub for the dragons dry, one wet. So we're going to take the substrate because it's still got some bioactive in it. This is the drier one. And just dump it right in. Along with all that. The mix and everything. A little bit in the bottom. Then, we're going to take the empty one. We'll take Azula here. Put her here. And Virus right here put them here empty out their container that I had them in the other they already climbed into the wet container now the wet container I don't know why it's not drying out when they're everything should be the same but it's not with any luck having it in one big container with more equalized lighting and airflow will help it out so now we'll take the wet one and we're gonna put that right in there too. Slap it all out. Yeah, that's really wet. I'm making. Yeah, it stinks a little bit. So, and now I'm really glad I put the rubber mat down here. Now, since it's all in there together, we're gonna mix it, the dry and the wet, kind of level it out with our wonderful wooden spatula that I stole from the wife's kitchen that will no longer go in the kitchen. Okay. There we go. Get it kind of nice and broke down and mixed. Don't even have to spray it down this time. Now, with any luck, this will also keep these two little monsters from climbing into the McCords and the Eastern Boxer Hybrids pins. So now, got it all set. Flat out. Now, one problem with the dragons. They will fight over food. So one of the things we want to do, is I'm still going to put two separate food dishes in here, and I'll bring the video up for that in a minute, on each side of a visual barrier. And I'll even give them two separate water dishes, just because, you know, why not? Now. You got turtles, you know, when one has one thing, the other one wants it. So and they're going to make a mess trying to sort it all out, put the fake plants back in here so they have stuff to hide under. And we'll add the water and stuff in a little bit. Okay, temperature gauge. We're going to put that over here in the back. Just let it hang out the door. No big there. And the dragons are up. And I made a huge mess. The wife will get mad before later. Okay, here's our little dragons. Again, with the Zula and Virus. Now, Zula will be a year old in uh, December. And, oh, and she's peeing. No, oh, she's peeing on me. Wonderful. Now, what's funny is Azula is actually looking to be a male. But, you know, you normally can't tell the age of turtles for the first couple years. But the hybrid's growth. You can see her little tail right here. And Virus still looking like a girl. So we're going to put them in. Give them each a side to go dig into. And I'm going to pick the phone up here and give a little thing for it. So it's in here, visual barrier. This will all get knocked down later. Like I said, we cut the front off here. I had a problem with this, so we cut this off. Now, normally you'd worry about the scraping, but this is glass. So we don't really have to worry about it getting tore up. I made a mess here. This is the old barrier. Uh, the McCords isn't here right now, but you can see stars over there. We'll get the McCords back in here later. So we're gonna see how this works with these two in here now. Uh, we'll take these two bins, we'll clean them out, and use them for another animal at a later date. But anyway, just a little bit of an update for us and getting these guys settled in to a bigger tub. Okay, everybody have a good night.